Hey guys, uh, this is Pat Dees, and I am going live soon with a card break. I've been meaning to want to do this for a while, and I apologize, been busy. Um, just haven't had a chance. Hey, uh, Susan. How are you? Yeah, I'm getting set up here. I'm uh, going to be doing some baseball cards here. So if you're not interested in baseball cards, this probably won't be for you. Um, but I appreciate you stopping by. Me and uh, T actually going to be going live at 8 o'clock tonight and doing a media auction. But I wanted to do this, um, you know, back in uh, February, I wanted to do the card breaks where I would feature, you know, open baseball cards and talk about the hobby and stuff like that. And, um, unfortunately, I got sidetracked with the COVID-19, and I had a couple people, and this this one's going to be dedicated to uh, Shane M. that paid through the Patreon group for cards, and I told him last month I'd, I'd make it up to him, so I owe him a bunch of cards, um, so I want to, this is a strange year for even cards, because... You know, next year there ain't going to be no uh, statistics to really kind of go on uh, as it's not a normal season. And hopefully they'll they'll get the baseball card season open. But I did go to Dollar General today and um, buy a bunch of cards. And I actually picked these up. These were a buck a piece. And um, I'm going to open up some cards. And then some of these cards, uh, these cards are going to be, a lot of these cards are going to be... Um, for Shane M. So if Shane M is watching this, I greatly appreciate your support. I want to, when I get a little time, kind of push it a little bit more in the future and uh, do things with it. But I just really haven't had time as I've been doing e eBay, Amazon, and, uh, and uh, grocery delivery and stuff like that. But let's, we're going to open up some cards. And um, basically a card break is people buy into the uh, card break. And then they, they get to keep the cards. But we show the, the public. So what we're going to do, we're not going to open all these up. Uh, because I want to send Shane uh, a bunch of unopened stuff. But we'll show the cards. These were the cards. I bought the box at Dollar Tree. And there was 20 of them in here. Now, I'm going to send him a bunch of these. And actually, um, I'm going to send this box to him. These are the Gypsy 2020 uh these are going to be sent to him. We'll open those up live. These are going to be sent to him. These are um, the Marvel Superhero Squad Trading Card Game Intro Pack. I'm going to send these to him. Now, I'm not going to open these up. These are going to be basically just like an extra gift. And then these Austin Powers uh, collectible card game. It says um, rated PG, not for the kids, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It's a collector's card game, The Spy Who Shagged Me, uh, Michael Myers. And um, so this will be something basically I said to him for participating in the Patreon. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do the Patreon. I might give it another two more months. I haven't had time to kind of push it. I just wanted to do it to pay for people to sign up for cards. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do an announcement when I do card breaks. And then instead of people just basically paying through the Patreon, they could pay me through PayPal. And uh, we'll do it that way. So... I wanted to get this out of the way because tonight at 8 o'clock, like I said, I'm going to be on auctions for you with T. We're going to be selling uh, books, records, and movies and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you guys can give it. So this, is, this box is going to Shane M, not open. This is going to go to Shane M, not open. And uh, let's, let's, let's uh, get some of these cards uh, open here. <clears throat> What if they just paid me and you open the cards? Well, that, that won't work because I, Shane's already actually paid me for three months. And, um, oh, okay, Jim. Yeah, I want to, you know, I've bought and sold cards on uh, eBay for years. Uh, my best one I ever did was actually the Joe Montana Rookie. And I sold two of them graded nine uh, PSA for $450. But, I'm not even, to be honest, I should have done more notice. My camera here is not set up actually the proper way that I want. Um, so, and I should have a rookie list here of this year. So really, I know the cards to really look out for. Um, each card has a yellow, um, find the one yellow parallel. 
per pack on average, it says. So I guess that's the special card that's supposed to, you know, stand out and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching, uh, oh, Kyle, rated rookie Kyle Lewis, if you guys have been watching, like, oh, Albert Perez, if you guys have been watching, like, Locker Nuts and stuff like that, he's selling a lot of cards for uh, a good price on there. So there's definitely money in cards. People are definitely interested in it. How I got, I've been interested in cards since I was a teenager. I used to do card shows and stuff like that um, with a guy I worked with, and uh the interest kind of, as far as YouTube related, was watching the Jabs family, a guy that lives out towards Pittsburgh, and um, he does a lot of openings and stuff like that. And um, so, you know, I just got to get, kind of just got to get back and do it, get back on the schedule. And um, there's definitely, um, yeah, a lot easier to do on eBay. Uh, yeah, of course. And, you know, if people, but now with YouTube, uh, with auctions and people doing things, there's definitely an interest that people want to, in a sense, buy, like see now and buy now type of thing, or they buy in. And what we're going to do in the future, uh, Jim, is let's say, for example, we do a thirty, we do a thirty buy-in for ten dollars, and then we're going to have like a random thing where let's say we pick your number, mm -hmm. um, number six, and mm -hmm. um, hold on one second. Uh, sorry about that. Um, basically, what will happen is, like, for for example, let's say we pick, uh, we'll sign a number. Let's say Jim is number 30, Craig would be 28, Shane would be 26, and then, um, you know, so, so forth. So, in other words, we'd pick uh, no bubble bath like the old days. So, we would pick, for example, oh, bubble gum, not bubble bath. If you got bubble bath with your cards, you were buying some different cards, uh, Steve. Hey, uh, Justin, what's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a long time. But um, what will happen, for example, let's say we're going to or announce a prize. Let's say like this box. This this box goes for around, let's say, $15. Uh, we would say, okay, let's say it's box. Box number one is going to be this one, and we would open up live, and we would pick it where we would say, okay, and then oh, number five, and let's say number Craig is number five. Uh, you know, boom, this would box would go to him. And the idea of it is that people basically sort of would buy into it with the potential to get like a $50 card. And there are those cards out there that are definitely $50. Um, so, you know, obviously I got to work on it. Uh, I've been busy doing other things uh, the last month. And um, eBay has been busy with certain things. Why does Pat say I'm every number? But you're not number one, Craig. But uh, me and Craig, if you guys want to check out Landshark Picker's show, we actually did a uh, video on baseball cards and stuff like that. And um, I just really wanted to do this one, really kind of dedicate to Shane M. Um, Shane's going to get all these ones that I'm opening right now, and he's going to get some ball. I'm going to show you everything that Shane's going to get. And um, so he's getting all these ones. These are nice-looking cards, actually. Um now, what some people do, and I'm going to talk about that in the future. This, this live will probably be about 30 minutes. Um, in the future, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, show you where graded cards are, PSA, and uh, stuff like that. And, um, oh, see, there's Cal Ripken. <clears throat> Not bad. I mean, you know, it, it's funny because years ago for 50 cents, and I'm going to show you some of the older cards. Uh, Shane's going to get all these cards. And again, Shane's getting that. Sh Shane Shane uh, paid for three months, and uh, we should have done something. And I told him, he's like, oh, I'm not worried about it. But I, I was, and um, I, di I didn't really push it at all anymore because, again, I was busy with uh, doing other things. But I do want to make it basically probably twice a month where I would do um, sort of like these uh, card break type raffles. You know, Daryl Strawberry from the New York Mets. Now, see, Adri Adrian Mordron, San Diego, rated rookie. So that's a rated rookie card. So he's going to get all these. <clears throat> but I want to show you in between. Here's here's a 1989 Donruss. They have that wax um, paper even. But these didn't have gum. The tops ones had gum. Um, just ran across a big box of baseball card basketball yeah they're worth money let me tell you uh if you find that sometimes the right cards 
Uh, I mean, a lot of the cards in the 80s and 90s were mass-produced, but a lot of the cards right now, they put out special ones with, like, the, sh the t piece of the T-shirt, uh, autographs, you know, rare cards and stuff like that. Um, different call, you know. These are all 1989 Donruss. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, 1989, it's, uh, you know, 99, 2009. I mean, that's over 30-some years ago. So I kind of want to show you what I'm going to do. And, again, I did this spontaneous, uh, really, at the last minute. I said, you know what, I'm going to go live. Uh, the ones that I thought were worthwhile back then all sell for under $10. Yeah, some cards, um, you know, it, it, graded cards are great. Now, um you know, if you, I, I remember back in the day when um, Shop at Home Network were selling the Mark McGuire's for $75 a pop uh, online. And people were buying them like they were buying stock, like they were in investments and stuff like that. They're Don Manley. David West. He was, see, the rated rookie. Walt Weiss. I wanted, you know, I want to do this too. Oh wow, there's there was two parts. This, uh, uh, there's two puzzle pieces in this one. This one all put together uh, made Warren Spawn. They actually just announced that um, they canceled the um, the Hall of Fame introduction, which is usually I think in July, and typically around seventy thousand people go up to uh, Cooperstown, uh, New York, and uh, I've been up there not in July, but I've usually been up there in February. And so they're not going to have the traditional Hall of Fame. And uh, the Little League World Series was canceled, too. Uh, a big – I live here in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. And a big part of that is uh, in – it's in actually Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And, they're can and they say that's going to have at least a 30 to $40 million impact on the local economy. So this is really a uh, changing thing. Oh, there's a crazy card. Yeah, that's the thing. You got to even get to know. Once you get to know what the cards to look out for on certain things. Uh, yeah, see, this is the Warren Spawn. Basically, when you put that puzzle together, this is what the puzzle looks like. Warren Spawn. So we're going to open up the last of this one. And then I'm going to open up. Then we're going to open up this box. And this all is going to go to Shane. Another puzzle piece. Maybe even at oh, uh, Oral Highshire. High, high uh, maybe we'll do things where people could pick their teams and uh, different things. Oh, Kurt Schilling. Uh, he, remember, he played with the blo uh, the bloody foot. Uh, he played for, uh, what, the Red Sox. And um, remember the, the sock? They said that. I guess that sold for a lot of money. But uh, hey, Carol. Hey, Carol, I'm just doing a card. There's Tony, Tony Gwynn. I think Tony Gwynn's son now plays baseball, too. Um, I really – oh, Manny Trio. He actually played for – oh, okay, Harley, Harley Kitten. I think he actually paid, played one year, too, for the Phillies. Uh, so – this is just a card break. So for people that normally watch me for reselling, they might not be interested in it. This, but you know, this is a form of people that you know, collectibles and baseball cards and things like that is something that basically there's there's a lot of money in to be made. Um, but I'm trying to go for an audience on the on these type of videos that is geared towards the hobby of um, collecting baseball cards. I can uh, show you. Basically, what I'll do is, and oh, thank you, Carol. Here, they're in there. Always want to be careful not to. Uh, I know people say, "Oh, you're being too rough with the box." Right? I want to watch because they have these in a see a cellophane pack. This was a box, a um, sixty-seven series one, sixty-seven cards, and um, there's twenty in there. So. Hold on once. Give me like 10 seconds. I want to grab a graded card and show you what I mean by a graded card.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I actually keep them locked up in the the safe. And I'll show you a really high value card. Um, this is a graded card. Um, this is a 1966 top Mickey Mantle. Um, Craig, we know you could count X Mint six. This is probably worth rough estimates, probably about $150. Um, you can see it's uh, 1966. It's been sent into a. You can look this up on eBay, see what they're selling for. The difference of this card like this and this card like this. If you could have a Mickey Mantle 66 like this, it could be worth let's say $60 and grade it about 150. So this this is a this is like a $150 card right here. This one card. So I want to show you what and grade it. This is a graded. Um, uh, excellent mint six. Now here is a, and I'll I'll show you some cards. Here is a Mark McGuire. Now and that's one of the things I'm going to do with the openings too in the future. I'm going to make probably let's say if I get every ten I'll put out one graded good card, and somebody will have the chance to win that. And then if I have uh, let's so in other words if I have thirty people I'll give three graded cards. So I'm going to do be doing a bunch of different things. And um, so I want people to, and again, I have to get this down. I, I, I had this all figured out what I wanted to do and then, um, you know, got sidetracked with doing, because one of the things I do is grocery delivery and stuff like that. So, but this is a Mark McGuire. Now, this is a Gem Mint 10. This, this is not considered his rookie card because his rookie card is basically the Olympics one from 1985. But this is his first card dressed in a normal uniform not the um um approximately ten dollars it costs to get graded um but you can join psa and a lot of times if you send in bulk you can i think get them for as cheap as uh seven dollars so this is a this is a gem mint 10 uh mark mcguire this is roger clemens 1985 uh a near mint now you look real close you say wow what's the difference between eight and ten they look under a microscope, and it could be the ink, it could be the corners. Um, so that's one of the things I want to do here, Petties, is on my channel, is get to a point where basically when, when, when people find cards at a yard sale or a flea market or come across in an attic, who knows about cards? Uh, you know, check out Pat D's channel or ask Pat D's because he knows uh, cards. And I've been doing buying and selling cards for at least uh, 20 years and uh, a collector. Uh, the ones that I just shown you are from my personal collection. Like here's a Reggie Jackson, 1979. Here, here, here's a wrestling card. Now these are rare too. Yes, right. They even had a lot of their own. This is Paul Orndorff, wrestling all stars. This this card is uh, from 1985. Hey Jonathan, thanks for stopping. Um, basically, I'm doing a card break, Jonathan, talking about the hobby of collecting cards. Here's a here's a 1973. Look at this. Anything really before the 80s is worth uh, money. This is a 1973 Topps Reggie uh, Jackson. This card's worth about fifteen twenty dollars. Um, this is a, his rookie year was 1969. Um, but see how it, it's in this plastic, so you don't have to worry. I'm not wearing gloves. It doesn't matter because it's protected, and you can't just bust these out of the case. Uh, these cases are, you know, PSA. Here's a Mark McGuire. I went and grabbed the box that I have. Now, here, here's one of the cards. The, uh, where's Hawk Hogan? I probably have that one, but I don't have it right here. Again, I just grabbed. here. Now, here's a card from 1989. Hey, Dennis Du. Um, Dennis, we're going to be going live on T's Auctions for You channel at 8 o'clock, and we're going to be doing media. I don't know if she'll have any games. I'll have books, uh, records, and um, DVDs. But this is the 1999 80, Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Near Mint 7. This this card's probably worth roughly, uh, hey, Joe, Philly Picker, roughly about 12 bucks. Um, and here's a difference. Uh, a 7's worth about 12 A 10 could be worth about $200. Um, so there is a big difference in 7 to 10 uh, and that, that's where you need to do your homework. But here's a card from 1989 that is definitely worth money, and that's the Ken Griffey uh, Jr. Yes, card number one. There you go. See it? Card number one. And on the back, card number one, Craig. See? But, Craig, you're not on that card. It's Ken Griffey Jr. And PSA will grade 
a bunch. Here's one of my actually favorite players, just because he had a great sense of humor. Uh, Bob Euchre. Uh He was involved. He he was he did commentary, and he wasn't a great baseball player, um, but he actually played even for the Phillies at one time. But look at the artwork of that, and he got involved in wrestling the one year and stuff. And he he liked to tell jokes and different things. Um, Mike Schmidt, this is a, a different um, superstar credit card. So this is this is a different box that I have of different different ones. Here is a 1952. Everybody knows about the 1952 Mickey Mantle. This is from that year. This is a 19 Carl Schrieb. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Now that's a grade four. That card's worth about $15. Now, obviously, if you had a grade 4 1952 Mickey Mantle, it, it would probably be worth about $20,000. Um, here's a 1988 Barry Bonds. Top straight it. Mark McGuire. I'm a big fan of Mark McGuire. Um, oh, here's one. Jim Thorpe, All-American. This is a football card. Um... A Jim Thorpe, um, if the, everyone knows, there's Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. It was named after him. This is a graded five card. This card, uh, last I, I knew, was worth about 30 bucks. But it might be worth, I haven't looked that up in a while, so I'm not sure what it's worth. Um, here's another Bob Euchre. Actually, I think, it, did I have two of those? Or did I show that already? Yeah. Here's Now, here's a graded, graded six and a graded seven. Same card. And the difference could be major as far as the value of the card. With the naked eye looking at them, you might think that they're worth the same amount of money. And that difference of six or seven could be uh, tremendous. So that those are some of the graded cards I wanted to show you, the rookie card. Um, Joe, I don't know if you were in here late, if you caught the best card. Uh, it was the 1966 Mickey Mantle, worth about $150. Um, I could sell that. These sell all day on, on eBay. So if I needed money, I could cash that in right away. So I wanted to show you when I talk about graded cards, that's what a graded card looks like. All right, let's get back to this is the top 2020 baseball card series. Uh, Shane M. Uh, paid for this card break today, and he's going to be receiving all these cards that I'm opening and actually some bonus stuff. Um, look at the color on these, though. Wow. Nice. The Rays, the Dodgers, Dodgers. The cult, the, the I mean, the, the things that they can do with print technology now versus back in the day, the glossy and, and putting the piece of the shirt in it. I mean, I still love the nostalgic look of like that 1952s. Now, here's one um, Vladimir Guerrero uh, Jr., he, it, that's a rated rookie card. So that one is probably worth more. Uh, like that. San Francisco. Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, how you always want to know what year the card is, is just basically look at the last year. So it shows 19. So that means it's a 2020. So it would, al it would always show their previous year stats. And that's how you can tell the year of the card. Uh, so if you find a card, for example... Um, Let's say, like, you didn't know this night. This is a 66 Mickey Mantle. Basically, see how it shows the last year, 1965? That's how you know it's a 1966. Because it always shows the previous year. So that's how you know. Oh, yeah, Sammy Sosa. Yeah, no, he looks like he uh, had surgery and dyed his hair and stuff. He definitely doesn't look like uh, uh, <laughs> like he used to. Boy, I remember that that when they they raced for the home run record and they hit seventy and boy, baseball was popular uh, that year and stuff like that. Yeah, they give those guys a lot of slack and stuff like that for taking, I guess, performance enhancing drugs and stuff like that. But uh, I'm sure there was a lot of people that were taking them and um, you know doing things they probably shouldn't have been doing. But who am I to judge? Um, I enjoyed the, you know the game. I, I I'm big. I love. Uh, actually baseball 
just because I always figure that a normal guy, I always you get the you don't always get the ability to run with a football because not, but you can get up the bat and hit the ball. And that's why one of the slogans I use on my, uh, you know, you may not hit a home run every time, but at least show up the bat, you know. So these are beautiful cards. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on each card. I just want to kind of show you a little bit of the detail. Oh, wow. Decades next, 2020. Okay, now here's a 35-year anniversary card. Uh, it's made to look like the 1985 and here's some ones that are made to look like some of the older um, cards. Carlos. Yeah, exactly, Justin. Now, I don't know if you guys want to comment below. Do you think, uh, what do you think? You think Mark McGuire um, and Sammy Sosa will ever get into the Hall of Fame or no? My favorite ball player is Mike Schmidt. I've met him personally. Um, he went through cancer a couple years ago, too, and then he uh, came up actually to a casino. The casino paid him to do autograph session with people, and uh, I wrote to him as a teenager, and he wrote back and autographed a card. That was way before there was eBay. Now they won't do stuff like that uh, because they, you know, people want to send in. They just want to sell things, so um, it's all about the money as far as, and they know that, and they figure, hey, they might as well get a piece of it, too. Um, I mean, that's how Pete Rose makes his living, basically. Something they pay him like $2 million to sign stuff a year. So his autograph is really out there. Um, Red so or White Sox, excuse me, and that's a rookie card there. Diaz. These are really colorful, though. Now, there are there are people don't realize there's there's cards out there that... You can buy right now for fifty dollars a pack with a guaranteed autograph. Um, these cards here, typically, you can buy at like Target for about fifteen dollars a box, or or Walmart, and um, you know look for special ones. But these are all going to go. These are all going to Shane also. And um, all right, find two inserts. This is going to be the last box that we open. Let I want to show you guys. This is this box. I think was ten dollars at Target. Now, there's only 11 cards inside this box, where the other was 67. So that goes, at, there probably is something rare in there that they only put 11. So let's see what we got. I've got to be careful. I don't, don't want to rip anything or knock over the camera. The box doesn't matter. No one really saves the box. So let's, okay. Set that to the side. Okay. See, these have like a nice retro look too. Tops makes most of the cards. Um, JD Martin, Red Sox. The Phillies. Okay, now these. This is a special card. Oh, it's called the Joker. So there must be some sort of game here. Um, it go so that it, and it has a curve like a playing card so this is, must be a special card I'm not sure what the game is hmm so those were those cards I mean I remember back years ago you'd get this many cards for <laughs> 75 cents in a pack now cards I mean ten dollars was that's how much that pack of cards were so Shane M is gonna get all those cards uh, Shane M is gonna get uh it's an insert card. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Shane is going to get these. I'm not going to open these. And Shane is going to get these Austin Powers. And then I'm going to send Shane a bonus um, of these. And I'm not going to open these up. These are opening day. It says look for autograph and relic cards. Ten packs plus one extra pack. So I'm going to leave this opening uh, there was a Lewis Robert card in there too, I think. Okay, is he is? See, I don't know. That's where I got to get to know the rookies this year. Uh, right there, right there, Lewis Robert. See, I'm glad we're doing this live, and you point that out because people who are really into the baseball side of it, not just the the card collecting, uh, right there. Yeah, Lu Lewis Robert. Thank you. So he'll be getting that card too. Number oh yeah, and, and it's a rare card, one twenty two in a series of three twenty. Uh, so there, yeah, and you could tell it has a slight 
me see, number 195. Okay, no, no, no. That's just the number of the card. Okay. But that, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so he's going to get that. So Shane is going to be getting this. I'm not going to open it up. You know, he's going to be getting this. He's going to be getting this. And he's going to be getting all these other ones that I open up. And um, he, he paid me through the Patreon group. And I'm hoping in the future that more people would want to participate. And I'm going to do different things, like I said, with graded cards, some, you know, books on sports card collecting and some fun different things. Um, I just didn't want to drag this out any longer, so I felt the need to kind of, you know, really uh, thank Shane. So if Shane's watching this, um, Shane, I got your address. I will be sending all this stuff out to you. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for supporting me through the, the Patreon. Um, I appreciate it. And, uh, guys, thanks for everybody for coming out and watching. If you have any questions or want to comment below, the, there's certain cards that you like to collect as far as baseball, basketball, football, wrestling, hockey. Uh, maybe you like to do Pokemon, uh, different cards uh, that you like to do. Comment below and give me a thumbs up. And I hope you guys afterwards, you know, in about another hour, I'm going to be live on Auctions for You with T. And we're going to be doing a three-hour auction uh, with the media. So I hope to see you guys there and give me a thumbs up. And, and thanks for your support. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.